So Solomon did an interview earlier on, as a matter of fact, and he recorded and he got the girls' permission to actually publish the conversation that they had. And so we're going to talk about some of the highlights of what Makamu said and what the girls said. And then we're going to compare that to what the conversation we had is and say, who is telling the truth therefore? That's, that's, that's the whole goal of this video. So <laughs> give me a couple of minutes to go down with all these things and we break down what did Makamu say happened. You can read that on Daily Sun uh, page and also listen to the conversation that Solomon posted out there. I'm not going to publish it here. You can go over there to listen to it to his credit. Solomon found it. <laughs> Solomon found it or she found him. I don't know how it actually happened, but Solomon actually interviewed her and he cut the, the, the particular subject into two so that it doesn't make it too long. So the first 30 minutes he posted it and the other one he is going to post it later on. And so on this particular conversation, the first thing that I noted, which Makamu said, which she then reports differently here, is that the chain of events, he, he put it in 2017. Great. Awesome. It was 2017. The girl that does confirm that part. And so I don't know if Moja Love is still going to do any particular investigation because hey, they could just go to Solomon's page and watch that video. <laughs> there is your investigation. So we can have a proper narrative around the subject. The thing about this girl is that she names people. She labels this. And what happens is that a person does that normally because particularly if, you are, if they are recalling a memory, trauma or anything like that. So if you've ever listened to, they recall and they, they always have a reference. And so she does that a lot. So she refers to who the security she fa they found at the, at the office was. She, she recalls people. She recalls who was a witness at what time. She recalls it was not even an idea to record. It was actually a friend's idea to actually do the recording. And so she brings up a lot of information around the subject. Well, as on Makamu's side, he says that was a trap. It was actually used to actually extort uh, money out of him. Okay. Now, so that's what Makamu says. It was made to, to extort money. Now, that brings up a, pa a point here, which I think is very important. The girl then goes to say Makamu and the family, including, including, including the wife, they came to her actually uh, offering money for for whatever damage for whatever that experience might have done towards this young lady so it's contrary to what makamu said okay the money you according to the girl not not me the, uh, the girl says you brought the money to to silence the subject Okay, to kind of resolve the issue between you and the family and all that kind of stuff. And so, sorry about that. And so, that's where the, the, the entire subject starts to show that it is a couple of holes here and there. It's that this was at a particular point when the girl was still just 17 years old. She's 21 right now. That means she was underage. I'm younger than my camu and I can't ask a girl how to be 17 years old. I can't ask a girl out who is 17 years old. And so for him, ah, situations where families were offered money and they chose the money and they said we can deal with the silence some way. But this ones they said, no, we're not doing that. And then they went on to, to look for help to kind of get it sorted out. And she does then go into details with that particular part. And so the girl has references. She can quote back to see this person would be this this person here we did this this person did this so i found that to be extremely uh, good for the record so the record of what it happens inside was that he had asked many other times it never happened there was a period where he actually pushed himself on her that makes it even Haraz what what you know that word and so uh, this issue is actually very very serious it's more serious than than we might have actually been taking it because now she had to actually get away she actually had to quit her job because of these advances that Markham was making according to her own words and so she says that uh, she pulled us up and so this particular time when he asked, I recorded, placed the, the, the whole on record. The way Makamu showed himself innocent 
when he was on the daily sign he says i have nothing to say i have nothing to apologize about now having nothing to to apologize about and then having went to the family and tried to get things sorted out silently dishonesty it's dishonesty and this uh, in this story she puts in the the wife in this particular subject that the, the wife came with uh, two other pastors to kind of get this issue revolved so which means if we were talking about church boards before the church does not that puts the pause on this entire thing this was the big deal that paul took <laughs> with a church in Co in, Co in corinthians is that they were allowing things to go wrong because of allowing the pastor to continue doing his own things now is this the only one case that is actually like this we don't know we're not speculating we're not going to be out here saying ah you know these things <laughs> Otherwise, what ends up happening is that you you diminish the, the importance of the subject by thinking, yeah, there's others. Without thinking about that particular individual experience because we think, ah, there's other people who are quiet. So the, therefore, the majority silence therefore means this one should... You see, what, that's, what end, what, that's what ends up happening is that you diminish the, the, the importance of that particular one case because you don't want to face what it would mean for the whole thing. It means that the church knew all along. It means the church was cool with it. This story has just become something else. For me, I don't know how far it will go. For me, stepping down was the direction. Check a chill pill. It doesn't sound like there was any particular period where that actually happened within that particular context. And so, Makamu, uh, he didn't tell the truth to the Daily Sun. In his statement when he said that uh, he doesn't have anything to apologize for. Why was your family, why was your church members with your wife, according to the girl, at her house, apologizing to her parents? Why were they there if you had nothing to apologize for? That's the part where it kind of like really gets, you understand? And so for me, it just doesn't gel well. You know, the the... The brain is like jelly here and the jelly is not really settling and you know what happens when jelly is not settling <laughs> jelly is all over so jelly gotta find its ground in order for it to make sense of it so for me makamu's story doesn't make sense makamu's narration doesn't make sense number two makamu is is, is abusing his power therefore that's not me. That's the situation we have at hand. But you guys tell me what you think. It's not a good situation that we have here. This actually puts the entire story. He said they were doing it for, for, for extorting money. There wasn't extortion of money. Your people went over there to give them money. That was a lie. That was a lie. And the, the audio was there so that she could have her own evidence of you pushing yourself on, on her. She had to leave her job. Because now there was this that she had to deal with. Let alone this was a person who was supposed to be working for him. It, that just puts all kinds of things. So, yeah, tell me what you think, man. For me, <sighs> you lie, you're gonna have to lie again. At the end, you can't lie to all of us because we don't all believe the same lie. Some of us, you lie to us, we come back and we analyze it. We're like, hey man, you, you, are you like this all the time? Or when are you not lying, <laughs> therefore? And so, for me, Makamu, she stepped down. Now, why? The Bible. Okay? That's the criteria that the Bible has, is that a particular individual like this, the Bible says, put them aside. 